Hi guys, as I was uh, going back and grading things, I realized uh, a couple of you need a little bit more help when it comes to doing the black and white mask. So I'm going to uh, show you how to do that. So number one, if this window comes up and it's in your way, um, you can just click cancel. I think we're only going to do one more assignment in photo P photo P because it's getting a little uh, obnoxious to use their free software. Um, so I'm going to get a picture from Facebook. So here's the picture I'm going to work with. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy the image. I'm going to come over here to photo P. Um, I don't believe that I am signed in. So I'm going to click on account. Oh, no, I am. So I'm going to do a new project. And remember when you copy and paste, um, it knows all of the settings. So I'm just going to click create and I'm going to paste. Um, okay. So here we are. So the first thing that you need to do in the bottom right hand corner is you need to go to the mask. So that's the circle with the half filled in, half not. And I'm going to do a new adjustment layer and I'm going to choose black and white. And you'll notice that it sits right on top of the layer. And remember, we've talked about this a lot that um, you can always um, hide and turn back on the different um, layers in, in photo P. That's what makes it um, so powerful is that you can have multiple layers. Now over on the left hand side at the very bottom of your toolbar you want to make sure that you have the foreground color black and the background color white. You will notice that there's little arrows that you can switch that back and forth. Um, that's super helpful. I'm going to click on my paintbrush tool and I'm going to make my brush size a little bit bigger. Remember that that's that uh, square bracket up by the P on your keyboard. And um, it tells me, number one, the ad comes up, which is annoying, but it tells me that the layer is not editable. And the reason why that is, is because I don't have the mask selected. So notice that um, you're actually going to click next to black and white. And so now I should be able to poke a hole. So I do have a jeans and a maroon shirt on. Okay. So I'm going to do everything that is kind of big because I have my brush tool um, right now kind of big. So I'm going to pull through uh, some of the, uh oh, so control, oops, control Z, control Z. Um, oh, you know what? We'll just go ahead and go with this. Um, so it accidentally, as I moved my mouse up, to click on the cancel button, uh, you'll notice um, I accidentally got some color over here that I don't want. So a uh, perfect problem to have. So I'm going to switch to white and white is actually going to put the black and white back on the image. Okay. So I'm going to make sure um, that I don't have, that I'm not clicked on anything and I'm going to click cancel. Um, so I'm going to switch back to color. I'm going to make my brush size pretty small. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to pull out just the color in us. Um, every once in a while, let go with the mouse just in case that advertisement comes back up and in case you make a mistake. Control Z is my friend. But if I do a whole bunch, like now, um, I hit, can hit the tab key and hit enter. That cancels it. Um, so that's kind of nice. So here's my daughter. Unfor uh, fortunately, she's wearing black shoes or black pants. Um, so this is kind of easy to do. My son, I think, has gray pants on. And then my husband does have jeans on. So again, I made my brush size a little bit smaller. Um, I got to correct this. This needs to be black and white. So I'm going to switch it back to white. Great timing. I hit the tab key and cancel. So I can come back in and I can make the brick uh, black and white. Okay. So again, that is how you can do the black and white mask tool and then use the brush tool to pull out the color uh, to make this really cool effect on our images. Okay. Remember when you're done, file save as PSD and attach to to the classroom for this particular assignment. Again, tab, cancel, gets that 
ad off your screen as quickly as possible. The reason why that ad keeps coming up is because we have our ad blocker turned on, which is not something that our tech department lets us undo. So we just kind of have to deal with that uh, for now. Again, I think uh, this next week is going to be the last week that we're going to work in PhotoP. Um, so we only kind of have to deal with the ads uh, a little bit. If you have any questions, feel free to email, but that's how you do the black and white mask.